as Linda. I'm one of three adventurers who believe the really important things in life shouldn't be measured by your bank balance. Things of real value are friendship, spending time outdoors and pursuing personal dreams. I'm generally the one behind the camera, not in front of it. Um, I've been involved with anything from event management, to operating, fiddling with websites to movie productions. I guess one of my proudest moments as being a behind the scenes person was back in September 2011 when we had our first ever Paraglide Kilimanjaro expedition. I uh, will never forget the moment when Andrew Smith actually pulled up his glider, all the <laughs> guides and the porters gasping, and um, the moment when Andrew took flight and he's off the mountain, and uh, all the cheers that erupted, I'm sure I actually cried. <laughs> Uh, it was such a relief and, and such a um, sense of achievement I felt back then. Um, yeah, it was quite the sight. I was quite proud. Uh, it took, took many years to get the permissions in place, so it, it, was, it was quite a big moment. My reward after many years of patience, persistence and negotiation uh, was to witness dreams coming true and see a group of friends reaching some of the most anticipated personal goals. For me that was a really satisfying feeling. Now my background I've always been in the travel industry. I worked for tour operator Wild Frontiers back in the day, um, actually for more than 16 years. And all things Kilimanjaro came my way. I consulted on Kilimanjaro for many years. The founders, John and Debbie Addison, have always had a soft spot for Kilimanjaro. And during my time working there, they started the Kilimanjaro Marathon which today is one of the biggest sporting events in Tanzania. Back in the day as a junior consultant, I first had to climb Kilimanjaro in order to consult and help clients prepare for their own personal climbs. So I first set foot on Kilimanjaro back in February 2000 and two weeks after that return, I was introduced to the sport of paragliding and I immediately fell in love with the idea of flying with a material wing and exploring. Um, I enrolled for a course, I had a new use for my boots, which was brilliant, so they were very expensive. Yeah, and then uh, it was later in 2001, I went on a paragliding exploration trip to Namibia and I met Chris Lauter and we discussed the idea of potentially flying with Kilimanjaro and he loved the idea so yeah ever since then I seeked permission and in 2011 we did it it was amazing it was really amazing paragliding changed my life forever I enjoyed the idea of exploring places like a bird from the air though it normally involves some hiking up a mountain to get airborne um, it, it was just a different way of traveling and exploring um, little places where you would never think to go. It, it just opened a new travel book for me. Though back then it was completely forbidden to parachute or paraglide um, in Kilimanjaro National Park. We knew we wouldn't be the first to paraglide from Kilimanjaro as French paragliding team Bertrand Rocher and Claire Bagnier flew off in 1999. And several hang gliding teams did it in the 1970s and 1980s. Though being a tour operator specializing in Kilimanjaro climbs, we knew how important it was to do it right with approval from the authorities and proper ground arrangements in place as these expeditions are not standard climbs up Kilimanjaro. The trips are tailored to the specific needs of paragliders with regards to routes, elevation, suitable staff, gear, supplies, search and rescue, backup, retrieve, um, communication, national park fees, assistance and other support. 
So you, you, so you cannot compare these trips with standard hikes offered to the general public. You need to know that you are in good hands with the needed support and proper legal and aviation authorities in place. <laughs> Pierre Carter, well, I guess I got to know Pierre Carter a bit better back in 2009. He was busy training for the Red Bull X Alps, he did three in total. And one of his personal quests was to do the Seven Summits Seven Flights, where you paraglide off the highest mountain on each of the continents. And obviously Kilimanjaro being the highest one in Africa, he had to tick that box. So you turned to me for help and we decided to join forces. This sparked renewed interest in my own personal dream. And it happened at a very good time as we had a breakthrough with Tanzanian authorities. And we finally got our yes and we did it. So this small group of pilots from Namibia and South Africa became the first to paraglide of Kilimanjaro with permission from Tanzania National Parks and other authorities. After the successful expedition in 2011, we decided that it would be a good idea to put things in place so other paragliders that would be interested to do it can do it. 